All right, Pastor Tori, before we go there, I have a question here. How can creation explain the age of the stars since, at the, since it takes light, light years for their light to reach the earth? Let me repeat the question. How can creation explain the age of the stars since it takes light, light years for the light to reach the earth? There's a short answer and a long answer to that. I'll give the short answer. Um, Einstein found that uh, if you actually stretch the fabric of space, you stretch the fabric of time. Space and time are connected to one another. And there are many verses in the Bible that say that the way God unfolded the universe and made the universe was he stretches out the heavens as a curtain. He stretches out the heavens as a tent upon a pole to dwell in. He arched the heavens. He bowed the heavens. He that stretched the heavens over the north place. There are a lot of verses that indicate God actually did stretch space out. But if you stretch space, you will also stretch time. So the galaxy of Andromeda is not just one and a half million light years over there in space. It's also one and a half million years over there in time. I know this is a little difficult to understand, but this is the short answer. There are, there are more details that can be put into that, of course, but the stretching of, of time by space being stretched would explain why these things may be in a more time-stretched part of the universe if we are anywhere near the center. And I'll just add one last thought to that for those who understand physics. Um, light seems to be limited to a, a, a very fast speed that would take billions of years for light to reach the far outreaches of the universe to get to us. And therefore it's taught the universe is billions of years old. But space itself is not limited by the speed of light. God could have stretched out the heavens a million or a billion times faster than the speed of light. So scientifically there's, there's no limit that says the heavens could not have been created literally in a literal six days, as the Bible says, and he would be creating the stars while he was stretching things, they would have appeared to us on day four. So there, 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 are, there are many complex uh, scientific, mathematical reasons why the Bible can mean exactly what it says, and all of the heavens and the earth were created in six normal, literal days, and yet, starlight could have reached us uh, very rapidly. This is such an important question, being one of the primary objections that the atheistic community raises against creation science and against the Bible. Because the Bible indicates very clearly in its chronology that the whole system is approximately 6,000 years old. Well, if that be the case, the atheist objects. Uh, if that be the case, light travels 186,282.02468 miles per second. That's very, very fast. But it's not fast enough to reach us from the distant galaxies in 6,000 years. These men have already laid the foundation, referring to the work of Einstein, who demonstrated that time space and mass are all interrelated. If you had the ability to stretch the fabric of space, automatically that would stretch or dilate time and it would mature mass. Therefore the signals we get from some of the galaxies is that some of them are quite old. They should be. If in just the two episodes mentioned in scripture during the week of creation and during the year of the flood, two different times, God stretched out the fabric of space. This is demonstrated in uh, Genesis chapter 1. It's demonstrated in 2 Samuel uh, chapter 22 and in Psalm 18. Stretching of the fabric of space is also demonstrated in Psalm 104 and in Isaiah chapter 40. The stretching of the fabric of space automatically extends or stretches or dilates time and it automatically matures the mass. Thus, only the Creator Himself is capable of stretching the fabric of space. And in so doing, it solves the problem uh, that we call deep time. It solves the problem of billions of light years. In fact, in just six 
6,000 years of literal time on the Earth at the far reaches of space because of the stretching of the space fabric, billions of years could have passed. I think probably we've covered the area. Very, very important question.